compassion, which most often requires an adequate trigger, supporting people and luck, to my opinion, are the most important ingredients for a scientific career. And I must say I had the fortune to have all three of them. So when I grew up with my grandparents in a suburb and industrial area of Mannheim in Germany, my main interest was playing soccer, and I had no clue what my future profession would be. So this changed at high school, where I met an excellent teacher who introduced me into the topic of biology. And obviously, recognizing my new inspiration, my grandparents bought me a small microscope as a Grisman present, which I used in my spare time to microscope and analyze pretty much everything I could cut and put under this microscope, although most often I didn't see anything because, as I learned later on, the numeric aperture was so lousy. <laughs> Nevertheless, during those days, I decided to study biology, even though people were telling me uh, during that time, which was in the late 1970s, that the demand for biologists in Germany is pretty low. In fact, one biologist per year. So they asked me, why should I be this single biologist? So nevertheless, my passion for this topic was strong enough to not care about my professional future. And after a four years interim period where I was trained and, and uh, practiced also as a police officer, I started to study biology at Heidelberg University. Now during my time as a student, I developed a growing interest in molecular biology which in Germany in those years was at its infancy. However, there were very motivated uh, professors in Heidelberg who had done a postdoc period time here in the US, and they returned back to Germany to build up their laboratories using most modern molecular biology methodologies. One of these lab was a laboratory that was headed by Heinz Schaller, a pioneer in molecular biology and molecular virology. So Heinz worked on hepatitis B virus, which was a topic I was very much fascinated about, a really small and very clever virus. And it was not an easy task to enter the laboratory of Heinz Schaller. It was a multi-step process. But finally, I ended up because he accepted me as a lab practical student, and my first job was to develop a method for cloning a series of duck hepatitis B virus mutants. I assume I did my job right, because Heinz accepted me as a PhD student, and he took me really under his wings to tell me the secrets of how to work scientifically, to work quantitatively, and do the things right. So I left his lab in 1991, and in 2002, I got the opportunity to re return back to Heidelberg, thanks to a foundation that Heinz Schaller and his wife, Chika Schaller, had established, which donated money to implement a professorship for molecular virology. And after an international call, I had the opportunity to get this position, for which, of course, I was and still am very thankful. Now, success in science does not only require passion and supporting people, it also requires luck. And I would say my biggest luck was the privilege to host numerous very talented, student, talented students and postdocs in my lab. And they all have contributed quite a lot to the success of our work, but there was one person who influenced my scientific career most, who was already named, it was Volker Lohmann, who was my very first PhD student and turned into a long-term scientific collaborator, a good colleague and friend. Now, I would say that recruiting Volker was probably the biggest stroke of luck in my scientific career, not only because he was the key person to set up this HCV replication system in the laboratory, but at the same time, he was also an exceptional mind and a great team player, creating a lot of team spirit within the lab which was a crucial element for the success of our work. Now, being a scientist, as you may uh, probably uh, imagine, is not just a job, it's a vocation. And the pursuit of knowledge and the elation of discoveries are the twin triggers of passion in science. But this vocation also comes along with some aspects like long working hours, being often away, and hectic days, which are aspects that require a highly sympathetic family. 
Now, without the continuous encouragement of my wife, Judith, who is also here in the audience and, and whom I would like to congratulate for her birthday today, um, <laughs> and without the enrichment of my children, Marie, Nora, and Lawrence gave to me, um, and that have, they have provided to my life, I think for sure I would not be here. Thank you.